Quito. Took an Uber to Quitumbo bus station in the south of Quito. Yeah, and then we hopped on a bus from Quito to Latacunga, which we're on currently. We're hoping to catch a bus from Latacunga to Quilatoa. Yes. And then hopefully we will see the lagoon today. Yeah. Anything to add, Swanton? Quito is beautiful. I didn't expect it, but I'm really glad we were here. Some confusion, but we are 95% sure we're on the bus to Quilatola. We showed him the thing saying Quilatola, and he was like, Yeah, but like he also said yes to some people who aren't going to Quilatola. Yeah. So it's probably just like along the way. We're looking into the lagoon, and apparently it's at 4,000 meters. Yeah, so we're going a higher altitude than we were before, at I think 2,800. And we were barely doing well in Quito itself. Altitude sickness. So we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> so we made it to Quitola. Yes, it is beautiful here. It is cold. Our room is awesome. Yes, it is very awesome. If there's any indication on how cold it is, like in the back, like a wood burning furnace. So I'm hoping that goes on tonight. <laughs> and now we're gonna go hike a little. Mm -hmm. Hi, pretty. Hello, can you say hi? Oh, can you say hi? Can you say hi? Is this okay? Yeah. Oh, hello! Oh my god, I'm in heaven. Hello, you beautiful souls. We're at Mirador Aquitola. So we think this is the observation area. And of course, there are many doggos in this town that are very friendly. All right, what are your thoughts so far? This is spectacular. I did not expect it to look as awesome as this. No, no, stop it. I'm a grown adult, guys. I will pull you back. <laughs> I just want to show everybody why I don't like Brianna leaning over the edges because that's what it looks like. Do you see that? You're not getting it in there. I don't see it, no. Are they better? <laughs> that is the edge she wanted to lean over. Okay, I was getting... Not even there. wanted to, you did. I was not leaning over it. See, over here, you got all these beautiful... All these beautiful viewing areas with fences. I don't know. Public safety announcement. Don't go near the edges. Don't climb over it. If you're going to pretend, pretend. Don't actually do it. But don't even pretend. 
yeah so there's all these beautiful fences over here and Brianna was really into that cliff with no fences Why were you not on the edge? Because I wasn't going to the edge. That's stupid. No, oh, because I was holding on no, to you. No, I just wanted to look. <laughs> I just wanted to look. We found a cafe. With a view. And these prices, like it's like $2. Two, yeah, $2.25 for a cappuccino. I think I'm gonna get an empanada. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. A beautiful view. So we are using a selfie stick for the GoPro. Empanadas are your jam. So empanadas are Brianna's thing. In South America, empanadas. They're so thing. good. Oh, it's really light. Mm. It's like a crispy jam. Mm. You see what I mean? Oh, this is so light, what? That's what I said. See, so like very light. Usually, like they're thick and heavy, but this is good. Cool. Oh, look at the air pocket. So, I was reading Wikipedia, and Quilatoa erupted in 1280, and it was considered a catastrophic VEI-6 eruption, which means that all of the lava made it to the Pacific Ocean. And to put that in perspective, Mount Vesuvius was a 5. So, scary stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. So this is Brianna, she's trying to stand up, but she can't. <laughs> Alright, let's do this quick. Alright, so we have been out here in the cold. We're brave, we've been brave in the cold in the coffee shop, which is amazing. And There's a whole bunch of lamps. We're interrupting this program. <laughs> what are they doing? Is there food in there? I don't know. Good thing they're walking away from the cliff. I know somebody else that could use a little walking away from the cliff. I don't, are they tied together? That sounds stupid. Like, I know keeping them together, but like... I can't tell. Alright, so we just finished up at the cafe and we've been walking around a little bit. Yeah, this has been really beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very cold. We have been using socks as gloves. So bring your own gloves if you're going to be cold. There's lots of like dogs and alpaca. There's like all sorts of wildlife everywhere. We just saw some sheep. What? Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're going to head back down to the hotel now. They have here, because everything closes down so early, the hotels usually have a breakfast and a dinner included in their price if you book it correctly. So that's what we have going on. Yeah. Yep. And then tomorrow we leave. But I highly suggest if you're going like Quito and down the south of Ecuador, at yeah. least spend one night here. Like this is gorgeous. The camera does not do it justice like at all. Right there's the doggo. Right there. Maybe you can see it. Maybe. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, stop looking like stupid tourists and put away the selfie stick. My fingers are mildly numb. But the man offered to start a little fire. I want to say the man, I mean the gentleman who I think runs this place. So that's gonna be nice. So nice. Yeah. 
a little girl running around. Oh yeah. In Spanish we say, yo tengo uno fuego. I like fire. I have a fire. Oh. Oh, me gusta, me gusta fuego. <laughs> Nuts and wood, but we don't have enough for that. We got extra wood. And then dinner is soup. I think it's cheese and potato soup. It smells like it, and it smells really amazing. That is so good. Good. That was all so good. And there's another fireplace. It's really flavorful. Mm -hmm. I don't like tea. It's more like a compote, like a hot it's compote. Like hot fruit juice almost. That's really good. Mm -hmm. We also might be the only people staying here because we are the only people with the table set and the only people here. But this is fantastic. Yeah. That is delicious. Yeah, I think we'll link it in the description below in case anybody's wondering where we're staying. This is great. I'm going too slow. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I'm going to finish my soup. I love this mix. Um, usually I'll get the fish and Kurt will get the chicken, but today we both have chicken. We have rice, some avocado, and then I think it's like zucchini and tomatoes. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this, it's not cocoa tea, but it's like a fruity kind of compote. It's delicious. That was incredibly good. That was really good. Now it's bedtime. Hmm? Now it's bedtime. Hmm. I would like to thank um, Auntie Jennifer Doug for these amazing coats. It's very cold up here. <laughs> Our room is so bright. Okay, so check this out. That light, the light switch is not on. I just plugged in my computer. Watch this. Uncle Doug, can you explain this? <laughs> yes, please Please give us an explanation. Okay, so watch. The computer, Unplug. And then it blinks. And then I plugged back in the computer. It's blinding. And like the light. Oh! Was it not even on? Okay, hold on. If I unplug it... This is a very confusing setup. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna then take the... That. So... It stops, and then if I turn on the light... It works. Looks like... Still blinding. What happens if I plug it in and have the light on? Nothing. What happens if I... What the heck? So I would love to know, uh, yeah, Uncle Doug, if you know what's going on here, please, please explain. 